Hey everybody, Bryce Larson here. We are um, working on the efficiency test that Mike from Tech TV asked us to do. Um, this is our catch rig. We're still perfecting it. Um, we've got a barrel brake test coming up that's going to involve shooting 10 cases of paint probably. Um, that's like six gallons of paint fill, so we really don't want that splattered around. We got some, uh, you know, car wash things. Sort of working right now. I think we're breaking about one in eight balls, one in six balls, something like that. We're gonna try to get it so it's catching more of them, just to keep the mess down on our barrel brake test. So catch rig right here. This is my uh, shop at work. We've got about 30 feet to the door. That's where we're shooting from. It doesn't really matter how far we're shooting since this is just all about number of shots. Air supply right over here. Uh, 3,000 psi uh, scuba tank. We're using this little uh, fill guy. It's got this little tiny gauge on here. Probably precise enough, but hard to read. And so what we're doing is we're filling my 13 cubic inch tank with this nice big oil filled gauge, which is easy to read and happy for all of us because it'll give us really good accuracy. It's 1%, is that correct? 1% and with a half a percent repeatability. Yeah, so if we fill it to 2,000 PSI, it could be within plus or minus 1% of 2,000 PSI, but every time we fill it, it's half that far off. So right. So it's, is great. We're, it's uh, within uh, 10 PSI repeatability. Yeah, exactly. So we're, um, we're cooling the tank down to room temperature. This water's been sitting here for a long time. Um, after each fill to make sure we're starting with the same. Obviously, increasing the pressure or increasing the temperature increases pressure. We're keeping this constant with water. It's a big enough tank. It's not changing much. Little guy changes a lot. What we're doing is we're filling up to about 2150. As it cools down, that gets us right at about 2,000 or just a few PSI over. And we're shooting down to 2,000. We're starting to count shots in 10 shot groups. We're shooting down until the gauge hits 1,000 PSI. So we're shooting 1,000 pounds of pressure out of that small tank. Um, the reason we decided to do that is that it's going to give us a, a, a sample so we can then test that same 1,000 pounds with and without paint. We're not doing the exact same test of emptying the tank, but this is going to give us the answer about whether emptying the tank is a valid test. I'm going to take the camera and uh, Gordon's going to do the gear. Uh, we're testing out a few guns. You saw my EMAG over there. We're going to test that out. This is a fixed, uh, it's a level 10 first off. It's a fixed uh, volume. Um, spool valve gun. So when you fire the gun, part of the process of the gun seals off the dump cha chamber from the rest of the gun. So um, that operates differently than, say, uh, the ion, which isn't a true sealed off dump chamber gun. We're also going to test this. And uh, the other gun we wanted to test for sure is the Cyborg, which is a ram-driven poppet valve gun. Because we think the different operations of the gun have something to do with how much air they use, dry firing versus shooting paint. Because we obviously know that different operations of the gun uh, yield different efficiencies in the beginning, like in the first place. So we think the effect will be different as well. Uh, if we have time and motivation, we'll probably try out a sniper and an auto cocker as well, um, just to round out the testing. Uh, we're using uh, some brand new Formula 13. Not the greatest paint, but uh, that's not what we are uh, looking for. It's great paint. I bought it uh, three days ago. Uh, field. And we're also testing everything with a 693 barrel, which is overboard. Um, and it's the barrels that uh, Mike recommends, which uh, we're trying to stick with that to uh, keep continuity with the whole thing uh, with Mike's testing versus our testing. So. Uh, I think that just about covers it here. So uh, next up should be either mine or Bryce's comments and the data sheets. So you guys have a good one. Yep. See you later.